skirts, cultural revolution and one giant leap for mankind. The 1960s are regarded as an iconic time of social and political rebirth. A time post-World War II when self-expression and identity were being explored and celebrated. Young people all over the world began to push and pull against the previously more conservative norms. And from these bold statements were born some of history's most significant contributions to the fashion and music industries. From mods and rockers to Hendrix and Mary Quant. Today, let's dive head first into the swinging 60s. In 1965, the then editor of Vogue magazine, Diana Vreeland, said that of all the cities one could choose, London was the most swinging. And by the 60s, it had undergone a transformation from post-World War stoic capital to one of the hotspots of exciting and fresh new trends in art, music and fashion. The English fashion designer and icon Mary Quant is credited with introducing the miniskirt in our radical move for fashion. And nowhere was more stylish to see and be seen than the W1 boutique lined boulevard of Carnaby Street. Along this incredible walkway, the chance to see a Twiggy, Jean Shrimpton or a Beatle were an interwoven dream. Music was the voice of a generation and both industries interlaced to shape and inform this incredible era. But speaking of Beatles... There are rumors around that this is Britain's revenge for the Boston Tea Party. 3,000 screaming teenagers are at New York's Kennedy Airport to greet, you guessed it, the Beatles. This rock and roll... The British invasion. The Beatles burst onto the US scene with a universally felt bang. Appearing on the Ed Sullivan Show in 1964, not many of the 73 million viewers could have predicted the sheer force of the impact that this Fab Four from Liverpool would go on to have. The hottest musical group in Great Britain today is the Beatles. That's not a collection of insects, but a quartet of young men with pudding bowl haircuts and who spell Beatles, B-E-A-T-L-E-S. They were all born during the Blitz in the Merseyside section of Liverpool, the toughest section of one of the toughest cities in the world. It's anybody's guess why the Beatles emerged from its cellar nightclubs to national prominence, but emerge they did. invasion had a profound impact on popular music, internationalising the production of rock and roll, establishing British popular music as a viable centre for creativity 
and opening the doorways for other British performers to achieve international success. As much as the US adopted and adored the fashion and music of the UK, the feeling was mutual. And this hybrid of rock and roll and rhythm and blues with guitar or drumsticks in hand gave a generation of young people all over the world the tools to freely pour themselves into creating and truly loving music, dressed in a way that felt deeply personal and liberating to them. From Bob Dylan to the Supremes via Cream, there are so many incredible artists and trends to admire and credit the 1960s with. It truly was an era filled to the brim with cultural significance, with an unforgettable backdrop and a soundtrack that will forever stand the test of time. So thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you again soon on another groovy journey. But for now, these boots are made for walking. Where well, you shouldn't have been a messin' And now someone else is getting all your best these boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Yeah. You keep lying when you ought to be true then. And you keep losing when you ought to not bet. You keep saying when you ought to be a changing. Now what's right is right, but you ain't been right yet. These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you.